Hi, this is Kevin McPartland, Senior Analyst with Terra Group. I'm here with Haranda Mizra, CEO and co-founder of Algo Technologies. So the claim from Algo Technologies is that you have the fastest matching engine in the world, that you can match an order in 16 microseconds. It seems somewhat hard to believe and to a lot of people impossible. So what's the real story? How, does this, how is it possible? Yeah, I mean, absolutely now. I mean, technology's moved on a lot since, um, you know, those matching engines like Ireland came about in 96 and went through various re uh, rewrites in 2000. And those technologies now are 10 to 15 years old. And as we know, even in mobile phone technology, things have moved on a lot. Uh, you know, if we go 15 years back or even 20 years back, you have the big bricks that you were, you were carrying. So it's absolutely possible there's a lot of innovation out of silicon valley now whether you look at the hardware level uh, equally the way that software is written the operating systems that are used all the way up the stack uh, there's a fundamental new approach a lot of high frequency traders uh, have obviously led that um, to date and they're running uh, latencies a lot less than this in their own shops albeit for them speed is of paramount importance and for us it's scalability um, and speed as well as the redundancy issues as well that we uh, that we need to address so using a combination of those factors um, and normalizing the software code and almost the operating system has to be like a high performance racing car where you strip everything down. Uh, those numbers are possible and, and it's proper round trip latency as well. But can your programmers and your infrastructure designers, how can they be that much better, 20 times better uh, by the numbers than you know these massive players like NYSE or NASDAQ or ChiX? The problem that some of the existing exchanges have, they've got platforms that have been around for a long time and so a fundamental design and architecture that has been around and the know-how has been linked to those older platforms with all the dependent systems as a result. So fundamentally rewriting that is very, very difficult. You can rewrite portions of the system, but rewriting a, a matching engine from the ground up, which we've done uh, because we had no legacy constraints, is very, very difficult to do um, if you're, you've already got a platform that runs. So that's a problem with some of these other exchanges. Um, and yes, absolutely, they've got smart people um, working within them as well, but they're constrained by what they can and what they can't do whereas we've had the benefit of a clean slate to design it from the ground upwards. Right, and so after the flash crash especially, there's been a lot of focus on risk checks and circuit breakers. 200 microseconds, which is sort of the, probably the average benchmark for some of the other exchanges, already seems like an infinitesimal amount of time to be able to do any kind of checking um, beyond the basic matching. So how then 10 or 20 times faster than that? I, I don't know, how can you even get anything done in such a short amount of time with so little code? And, and it's a very good question because as soon as systems went order driven, so if we look at the LSE going order driven in 97, you could argue that the amount of information going through a platform was already faster than that which a human can then put together and assimilate in their own mind. And this is where checks and controls and the proper filters come in as well. You know, we've, we've seen the SEC talk about a market wide surveillance platform, for mm -hmm. example. So it's the ability to extrapolate and data mine that data set. Uh, and that doesn't matter whether something's 200 microseconds or 60 microseconds. The process for that's got to be the same so that the information is in smaller chunks that a human can then understand and interpret. And that and that's the key here. So it's not about, you know, this platform being faster. It presents no inherent risks in any way uh, because the key is ensuring that market structure allows for those checks and balances within the platform itself. And those are which are mandated for, by regulator and a human that has to program them. And these days, because we are all skeptical of latency claims, what is what is point A to point B, and is this just in a perfect test environment, or is this really working with real data? It's a very good question because here, wh when we talk about our numbers, and and you know what annoys me out there in the market is that latency is a very misused word. You know, people talk about latency, don't really explain what they mean, and just really uh, bring out numbers out of thin air. With us, we're talking about you sending an order to me and receiving a trade or acknowledgement back. And we tested this um, with 50 unique client connections over 80 minutes with 300,000 messages a second with passive and aggressive orders. So as, production, as close to production as possible, getting that real bell curve, mm -hmm. rather than you know, some which talk about peak latency where they're just sending one order on a Sunday <laughs> <laughs> into a platform to test it in lab conditions. So it's definitely real. We've had exchanges already carry out due diligence on it as well, and it'll be coming to an exchange near you very soon. So then we will know for sure uh, when the first exchange picks that up. Uh, any indications of where in the world that might be? 
Yeah, I mean, it, I don't necessarily want to give the game away because we're under NDA, but certainly, you know, there should be an announcement from us in the next little while uh, with, you know, one exchange um, taking it. And then there are a number of others in the pipeline as well as a result. And from a market structure standpoint, it'll be very fascinating because it'll be ground changing yet again. It will. 20 times faster uh, to me means, uh, in theory, 20 times uh, more, more transactions than a day. So uh, that, that is quite game changing, certainly. Yeah, absolutely. Because, and, you know, even if, people think, okay, you're not going to trade 20 times more. Having the ability to um, react to information 20 times faster uh, than, than anyone else means that the fastest market makers, I mean, the best market makers always want to go to be on the fastest platform. And the liquidity takers will go there first as well. So, you know, for an exchange running it, um, you know, some of the exchanges have been hit by market share losses. Uh, it could be something that allows them to fight back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, both from a market structure perspective and a technology perspective, just fascinating stuff. Absolutely. Very good. Well, thanks again for coming in. This Thank is uh, Kevin McPartland, a senior analyst with Tab Group here with Harender Mizrin, uh, CEO and co-founder of Algo Technologies. Thanks for watching.